Good morning everybody. Um, recently I wanted to charge some of my AC systems in my cars. They're all the cars of course. Went to the store and found out that this R134A is no longer being sold in Washington State in small canisters. You have to have a license and all that stuff and have a recent turn. Now let's take a look. This is also Wisconsin's considering something like this. You know, the woke broke stuff is starting to kick in and we're going to, you know, inflation reduction. Yeah, <laughs> inflation reduction for who? It's not going to be for you and me. Uh, let's get 87,000 more people on board to collect taxes from all the deadbeats. Who's the deadbeats? I don't know, middle class? They say they're trying to help the middle class. I don't believe a word of it. Oh, I believe that we're being conned into the Green New Deal. Woke, go broke. And with more states considering banning the sale of individual canisters of R134A, they're hoping that you're going to dump your little car that's a little too old for them and buy yourself an EV. Sure, Mr. Brandon. I will buy an EV when you give me a voucher to buy one. And then I'll watch the grid turn brown because there's not enough infrastructure for one in the first place. Do they really want you to get an AV? Yeah. What they want you to do is get on public transportation. Public dime. The public bread lines. They don't want you to have a job. They want you to be, your job is to be working for them. In any capacity where they control everything you do. Yeah. So let's take a quick look at what the EPA says. And the EPA says they, let's do it this way, refrigerant sales restriction. The sale restriction is established by the EPA regulations. I'm reading this off screen. 40 CPR, 40 CFR part 82 sub part F all under section 608 of the Clean Air Act. Only EPA certified technicians are allowed to purchase ozone depleting substances, ODS, or non ozone depleting substitutes used as refrigerants with limited expectations. Refrigerants can only be sold to technicians certified under the six, Section 608 or Section 609 technician certification programs, where individuals may only purchase refrigerant consistent with appliances covered by their certification. Uh, so, if I want to fix refrigerators, I can only use it on refrigerators because it's an ODS. Uh, uh, what is that? What is that again? Oh, clean air act. Uh, shouldn't... Give me a freaking break. Do you know how much ozone depleting ODS that China puts out every freaking year? They're doing a massive, massive amount, or they were before creating massive amounts of appliances and products and goods and they're using a lot of this stuff for refrigeration and they're releasing a lot of it into the atmosphere they're the number one number one offender but we got to do our part with the ods here with the clean air act to make sure that we are not polluting the environment that we're not killing the ozone layer or depleting it remember the factories burning over there in china a couple years ago right during the uh scammer slaver demic right we saw massive pollution on a scale that was never seen before in their power plants what were they powering those power plants with makes you wonder doesn't it what were they really burning I'll leave that to your speculation but I have a pretty pretty good idea you know the depletion of the odor generation has happened they roll up your sleeve and get your little thingy Face plant. We're seeing more and more of that with the young children. Let's see, oh, 207% increase in heart problems from 18 to 48 year olds. And they're going to tell me that this is a major cause for it. your global climate change. I got news for y'all. Before I buy into that BS, I'm going to say one thing. It's colder now than it was during when the Roman Empire reigned 
supreme across this planet and ruled most of Europe, except for parts of Germany. It was way warmer then than it is now. So if the climate gets a little bit warmer, maybe we should take a look at the Roman period because that was pretty prosperous for everybody. I mean, you could grow grapes in the UK. You're starting to see that again. But if, what if it gets colder? Because right now I know we're going to a little peak up and it's going to drop down in this grand solar minimum. And <clears throat> it may seem like it's warm this year or next year. By 2025, I don't think it's going to be that way. I think we're going to hit the full grand solar minimum in 2028. I may be wrong. Maybe you should consult with like uh, Adapt2030, David Devine, great resource. <clears throat> Ice Age Farmer, Christian Westbrook. Uh, great resources, both of them, in my opinion. Uh, Lee Robarger has a good opinion on this. Uh, excellent engineer, scientist. Uh, holds many patents that actually go with the U.S. military equipment they use. You know, these are some people that you should listen to. But I'm going to tell you, and, and of course, Green Greggs, uh, Greg Allison, uh, the rocket man over there at Green Greggs. Has a very good opinion on stuff and has a very good technical background and engineering background. Knows his stuff. Knows about rockets. Worked for NASA for many years. But you should listen to people that actually have expertise in this stuff. And what you should listen to is that this woke, broke, green deal is a bunch of holy bullshit, in my opinion. I hate to use a swear word. But other states are considering banning the sale of this small little canister R134. So people like me that just want to recharge their refrigeration systems and actually know what we're doing, you know, for years. <laughs> I've been doing my own AC systems. I even rebuilt them. So oh, heck, I've rebuilt engine transmissions, done all kinds of major work on cars and trucks. I do it myself because I don't trust the mechanics. Cause they just, in my opinion, most of them just rip you off. It's just like in the other industry. You go to the doctor. 300 bucks used to be just to see a doctor, right? 300 bucks. Got shirts? Okay, here's your copay. Right. Overpriced for you to go in there, sit in a wedding room, and wait 15 minutes to be seen. So, yeah, you go to cold. Go home and take two aspirin and, and uh, here you go. Bet you on the head. Yeah. I, you know, take a whole year's worth of school to learn how to, to uh, make other people call you doctor. <laughs> okay. I have friends that are doctors. One's a brain surgeon, one's a heart surgeon. Okay? Good people. Honest down to earth people. They talk to anybody. They don't worry about being called doctor. And they're very good in their profession, what they do. I have friends that are lawyers. Yeah. Yeah, I can name three of them. The fourth one fell off a waterfall in Norway a while back here, about three or four years. I think it was 2016. Yeah. Fell off a waterfall and died. Yeah, they were all good people. Though. I would trust them. One married one of my sister's best friends. Yeah. But I'm gonna, enough rambling on. What I'm gonna say is that remember when you couldn't buy garden supplies in Wisconsin or Michigan? I think it was. I think it was Michigan. Yeah, you can't buy garden supplies in Mill Spring because it might give you the woohoo flu. Um. Yeah, that didn't make any sense. You're out in the garden by yourself, planting stuff in the fresh air. How long before, hey, the rest of you states get in line and says, oh, you can't buy this because it's, yeah, it's an OTS, oxygen depleting. Go walk, go broke. This, this society is, is totally broken down and the supply chain is not very viable at this point. It's breaking down too. The cost of energy, the cost of food is, I'll tell you what, if you didn't listen to me two years ago, I mean, my daughter kept asking me that, why do you keep buying so much food? Why do you keep buying so much food? Well, guess what? That food's two or three times the price it was when I bought it. And guess what's going to happen real soon here in the United States? It'll be two or three times what you pay for it now. So if you are prepping up, you ain't stocking up, and you ain't, you ain't buying your garden seeds, because I don't know if you're going to be able to buy garden seeds this next year. I'm going to shut everything down next spring. There may not be any trucks running. I mean, they want to go 
woke and broke and green so fast. They don't have the infrastructure for it. It's just not there. I don't mind protecting the environment, but to tell me again how mining for lithium batteries is good for the environment. You know how many tons of material you got to actually strip mine out of a mine to actually build a battery? It's ridiculous. How much energy you got to spend? The Green New Deal is not a deal that's green for anybody except for the people that know about it and take advantage of it. That have companies that they got or they sign on to or they buy into. I know people say, well, look at this and that. Yeah. You know what? If nothing else, go with the flow. The big five defense contractors. <coughs> Let's name a few of them. Raython, Martin, Lincoln, North and Grum. Let's just start with those three. They're going to have rapid profits because we're supporting a, another country militarily. Supplying them with everything, including our, a lot of our money. Your tax money. Because they rather spend money on saving a little podunk country out in the middle of nowhere in the middle of Europe that has no significant meaning to the U.S. other than food security for the rest of the world than making sure that the homeless vets have a place to live. Welcome to the Banana Republic, folks. And it's getting ridiculous. I hope you learned something. I hope you watch your um, state and what they're going to enact and proposing because if you're not paying attention you might wake up and find out this is not available anymore. And guess what? If it's not available anymore, where are you going to go find it? Well, you can. You can find something equivalent to this on the shelf. One can of this, eight bucks versus 130 bucks on the shelf for the alternative. If your car can use it. Does that sound good to you? Not to me. Thank you for watching. Thumbs up, like, subscribe. And I hope to see you back for more content.